Hi everyone and welcome to Web Easy Script Tutorials. This is Ahmed Fakhr and this script about how to drawing a route between two places using Google Maps JavaScript API. Also, this script support multiple language. You can use English, French, Germany or add a support for your language. You can search for the origin or the target place using Google Places autocomplete like this. Or you just set your current location using Geolocation API. And the place of the destination. Then choose the mood of the travel it may be driving food bicycling transit i will choose driving and press calculate and then it will draw the route between two places drawing the path between the two places also you can see on the right side the details about this route distance in mile, distance in kilometers, durations of time. Now let's go to explain the code. When you download this script from GitHub in this link, you will see languages folder. Into this folder, you have a three other folders. One for the language Germany, the second for English, the third for French. You can add the supported language here in two languages after this you will see other files the first one is common.php into this file you will see save search results function which is for saving the search results into this table search results you will see the table structure here into demo.sql this is the structure schema for search results table also don't forget to change the mysql connection from here and from config.php file here after this you will see how to change and support multiple language in this functionality here we will put the available languages en fr de and we check the available languages if okay we will set it in the session if there is no language supported and get from the get super global we will set the en the english as a default language and we path this to the include the next file which is the most important file in this script which is index.php first we use require once to include the config then we have a head to load the jquery library the google maps and bootstrap styling also we use the lang session here to change the language of the google maps don't forget to change the key of google maps after this we have a container with the first form to change the language we have three options en fr de when we change the language from select we have an attribute event which is on a change when change the language it will call this function change lang which is submit the language are you remember when we submit the language we will get it from here and use it to change the current language after this we have the next form which is the calculate distance form we have these inputs first one to save the username the second is the origin the third is the destination the fourth is the travel mode in these inputs we have an id id 
is used to connect with JavaScript to get the data and trigger events and use it to save in MySQL database. Finally, we have a submit button to save these results. After this, we load the map using map ID. Later on, we will use this ID to connect it with Google Maps. The next div to show the results, which is on the right side in mile, in kilo, and the duration text. Like this. And finally, this is the most important part, which is the Google Maps JavaScript API. First, we have a listener which load this function when the DOM loaded. Okay, when Google Maps load its library, it will call these two functions. The first one, which is set destination. The second is init map. In init map, it will load the map with a default position, a default location, with default latitude and default longitude. The second, which is set destination, which relate the Google Maps places autocomplete with two inputs, from places to places. Are you remember? This is the first one, which is from places. And this is the second, to places. We relate with this ID and this ID. When you write anything in this input, you will call set destination. Set destination will trigger an event when place change it. When a place change it on this input or this input, it will get the address and set the value of the formatted address to the origin and to the destination. As you see here, set value, the destination and the origin ID and set value. Where is the origin and where is the destination? This is the origin and this is the destination, which is a type hidden input. Then we have a display route function, which will set the route on the map. As you see here, this is displaying for the route. It will take the origin, place and destination and the travel mode. And after this, if everything is okay, it will use the direction service to set the direction and if anything is going wrong it will set the map to null set the direction to null and you will see this alert couldn't display direction do to and print the status calculate distance function will calculate the distance and after finish it it will use save results to send these results to the ajax first one it will use distance matrix service distance matrix service will get the origin and the destination and the travel mode and the unit system if it is miles or kilometers then it will call back save results after finish save results will take the result of distance matrix in these variables like distance, duration, distance in kilo, distance in mile, duration text, and append the result in HTML here. Then send these values to the Ajax request. The append result, as you see, will go to the in mile ID, in kilo ID, duration text, and set this HTML with values. As you see here, in mile, in kilos, duration text. After appending results, we use send 
Ajax request to send the data like username, travel mode, origin, destination, distance in kilo, in mile, and duration text using Ajax, which call common.php, and into common.php we will detect the travel mode if it will send it will call save search results to save this result we use distance form id here which wrap all the form data when someone submit it will detect the submission and get all these data and will enable direction service and display the route call the function display route and calculate the distance so all these functionality will work after submitting the data after this we have two functions related functions get current position and set current position get current position will work here when we click on the ahref set current location this link it will call get current location function which will call the navigator geolocation and detect the current location from the browser and send it to set current position function which is a callback function when we call it we will call geocoder api in google maps and detect the position using the current coordinates for latitude and longitude and pass it for the geocoder which will return the current location and if there is a response we will set the formatted address to the origin input are you remember the origin input here setting the value will be with two ways the first one to write it after search or the second one which is using set current position finally if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to show the next tutorials thank you for watching See you next. Bye.